Hi everyone, welcome back to Plum Mashable. So I'm going to try a different kind of video for a couple of months and see how you guys like it. This is going to be my December favourite. So these are all of the planner items that I have been absolutely loving all through November. So if you want to see what makes the first list, then just keep watching. So Ryan's just pointed out to me that I have actually done favourites in the past, and I have, uh, but they've always been in categories rather than sort of like monthly favourites. So this is the first time I've done them in this format. So let me know what you think. Is this something that you'd like to see more of in the future? So the first thing I'm going to start off with is something that I've made, um, and I'm never doing this again. This was a lot of hard work, which I don't mind hard work, but I got very frustrated with it, and you'll understand why when you see some of the bits that didn't quite go right. Um, so these are Santa sacks that I have made for my two nephews and my niece. Um, each one is different. They all have this sort of uh, Christmas tree thing happening on the front and then they have their name on it. But then on the back, each of them has a different Christmas carol. So Pages has Tis the Season to be Jolly, which is really, really cute. Um, and then William has... So you got... William there and William has Santa Claus is coming to town and then Jax which looks like this Jack he has have yourself a merry little Christmas and I think that was the one um, that drove me nuts because it was it was really hard um, I really I did enjoy making them as in I enjoyed designing them I didn't enjoy actually making them and I'm still not very good at the whole HTV thing, like I've just, while I had these under lights, actually noticed that a couple of the light, um, a couple of the letters are coming up and there's a bit of discoloration for the, um, the canvas. Is it canvas? Calico. Um, but I think that's the fun of handmade, like they're not perfect. I will go back over again and make sure all the letters have stuck down, but the discoloration and stuff is just something that I think I'll deal with. So they are the things I've been making for my nieces and nephews. The next thing I'm going to show you are my favourite pens at the moment. And I don't know why I love these so much, but they're just so much... Like, I still love my staplers, do not get me wrong. These are my favourite pens to have around the house. But to have out and about and to be using on the go and to be sort of not worrying if I ruin the nibs so much, these are awesome. These are the Unipin Fine Lines. And I've got them in all the different sort of widths. So I've got 0 0.8, 0 0.4, 0 0.3 couple point threes, a point one, another point eight, point six, point two, point five, and point five. I think I've actually got a point seven somewhere, I'm not sure. Um, I just love having these as an, like, I prefer to write with that kind of tip. I prefer a felt tip to a ballpoint, that's just me. Um, but these ones feel a bit more robust, I guess, than my staglers, so I'm really enjoying using those at the moment. While we're talking about ink, because we're kind of there, um, I'm going to say how much I love my new Kazercraft Kazer inks. So much so, and if you've been watching my lives, you know this, I got really excited on Wednesday because I thought my other 20 inks were going to arrive and that's what today's video was going to be. Unfortunately, they did not arrive in time for me to be able to do that. So I'm just going to show you this one. That's how come you've got my favourites instead. Uh, so this is a dye ink. It is a gorgeous plum colour and I will show you think what video was it I think it was my was it my planner markets haul where did I show you the Kaiser ink oh it was a Kaiser craft haul you're right Ryan thank you very much Duh. Um, I did show in that video sort of what that color looked like I'm gonna do the full thing with all of the inks um, next week but I just really have enjoyed been enjoying playing with this ink and I have used it in other places other than just here uh, but while we're on Kaiser craft stamps I actually use these for the wedding and that sounds weird but I was sitting in the house I was staying in the morning of the wedding and realized that I'd forgotten to make little um, name tags for all the different kinds of lollies because we had like a lolly buffet and so the morning of the wedding I'm seriously sitting there with my stamp pad and my stamps um, making cute little things so this is what they ended up looking like um, very basic but they look really effective on the night so I was really actually very happy with the way these came out Especially because they do look a bit rustic, which is nice. Like it was sort of what I was going for. So the sort of little points at the bottom here look fine. I'm not going to show all of them, but I just, I think they looked awesome. And I, I think 
a lot of people at the, I don't think anyone actually said they liked them, but I know they all said they liked the lolly bar. Whether that was because of the stamp things or not, I don't know. Uh, but I have really been enjoying using those stamps and I'm definitely going to get them out a little bit more uh, in the new year. I've also been really enjoying using my smash journal. So this one's my Mumsy and Bub Plum Mashable uh, B5 TN that I've just made some sort of art quality kind of things with. I haven't been doing a lot in here. So if you went scrolling through, you're not going to see all that much. But I have been sort of coming up with a bunch of ideas. I just haven't had the time uh, at the moment to sort of really get into stuff. But I've been really thinking about how I want to use this this planner especially in the new year which is why I wanted to bring it up now and um, so I've really enjoyed having that smash journal and then the last planner I'm going to show you is this baby I'm not actually showing you the planner I'm showing you some accessories and you guys are going to get a really good look at this when I set this one up I'm going to be setting this one up over the weekend so I'm really hoping that I'll be able to show you sort of the full setup in all its decorative decorated glory uh, but I have decided what I want to use this one for so I'm kind of sorting out all of my decorations so my sort of first decoration is this gorgeous little planner charm from simply danny and then i also have some gorgeous um tabs in here from may paper co so i'll do a really good sort of show of exactly what i've done um, with those when i do that setup but i have been very much enjoying having those um then we've got our advent calendars and i'm not going to show you any of this because you should be watching me on instagram so I'm really loving doing these reveals every morning over on Instagram. If you haven't joined in the fun yet, I suggest you do. Go and follow me on Insta right now. So I'm alternating between the Milo and Milk box and the Tender Designs calendar. I'm just switching back and forth every single day. So we're going to have 24 days of live video countdown fun. I'm not showing you any of it. If you want to see it, go look on my Instagram or anybody else's in the world Instagram because there's plenty of people who are doing these at the moment. But they are awesome. While we're talking about planners and stickers, there are two kinds of stickers right now that I'm going through like hotcakes. The first one is my Barney and Moon Christmas Countdown. Erin was lovely and actually chucked this in for me in an order I did a little while ago. And I'm so glad she did because these are the cutest Christmas Countdown stickers. They're just I just love them. So I am obviously have counted down to seven in my planner. So you can see where I'm at with that. Um, but they are really cool and then I'm loving so much so that I've actually used a whole sticker sheet which isn't this one I've thrown that one away um, but I've used the whole sticker sheet of my script days of the week as opposed to my months um, and I need to put in another order for Behaven to get some more because they're all gone uh, so two little two tools that I've been loving you guys wouldn't have been seeing for ages I've been using tweezers uh, these ones are from luscious labels these ones have my name on it so this is your standard set and this is a set that Denise is letting me play with um, that is not yet available, but maybe very soon. Um, these you can buy from her store for $5. You get both. Um, you pay a little bit extra for the... Gosh, I'm not sure if she's doing those anymore. Um, but she can do labels as well. Just ask her about them. Uh, but I could not plan without these at the moment. They are seriously my lifesaver and I adore them. The other tool that I have been really loving is this one. This is the We Are Memory Keepers journal guide. And I've been using it more as a more for the ruler and the little check boxes than the actual sort of reason I bought it in the first place, which was for this cutie. And while I've got it out, I'll sort of show you what it does. So I'm just going to grab my smash journal because that's what this is for. And I'll grab a pen. Let's grab the point one. So this is what I think is really cool about this. So number one, you've got a little ruler. So I've actually been carrying this around with me in my um, pencil case. So you've got a little mini ruler that has centimeters and inches. You have a little stencil guide here for arrows, which you can do the full one, or you can just do the single. Either way, doesn't matter. You've got lines, which are evenly spaced. And again, you can do sort of that and color them in if you want to. If you're a bullet journaler, this is just absolutely genius. Um, you've also then got your check boxes. So you've got circles and squares. So if you're someone like me that gets really frustrated with doing not completely perfectly round circles or completely square squares to do check boxes this is going to save your life um, the other thing it does and this is sort of the part that I'm still trying to learn how to use and that sounds ridiculous but it's true um, is this sort of circle guide so I think it's designed for 
if you're a person that does like mood trackers and stuff like that. I get how it works, I just haven't kind of got the gist of it yet. But there you go, it'll draw sort of perfect circles, which is just, just a cool thing to have, I think. I don't have any other way of drawing perfect circles and I suck at it. So I'm enjoying more the ruler and the guide part, but I do love this little circle thing as well. So I got that from Washi Gang. I think it was about $25. I've had it for probably two or three months um, and it has been coming everywhere with me. It just doesn't get shown on camera all that much because it's not used in my regular planning. It's kind of used in my on the fly planning. Uh, so I've got three more things to show you. Yes, I have a lot of favorites. Uh, the first favorite is, or the first, the next favorite is this. This is my new way of storing my stickers. I'm not gonna go into a full amount of detail right now because I'm gonna do that in the new year with Denise, but this was Denise from Luscious Labels' plan. She sorted it out with all the categories and stuff. I've just changed it and added stuff and moved things around. I adore this. It is so working for me. I'm very excited. And there will be a video all about that coming up in January. While we're on things from Luscious Labels that Denise has got me onto. We have this beauty. So this is actually a shadow box from Ikea. It opens up like this. It's magnetically held, like it's got a magnetic closure here. And this is how Denise is storing some of her washi tape. So this is now how I'm storing my Planners Anonymous washi tape and glitters. I think this is fantastic. The downside for me is that I can't hang it on my wall because I can't put hooks up on my wall that are strong enough to be able to hold this because it is reasonably heavy. So it has been living on my cupboard and I just have to lean it back so that these don't push on the front and push it open. That's the only downside. Uh, but I think it's a really great way to show off your collection more than anything else. Like it's a good way to store it, yes, but it's a really good way to show it off. And I really love this. So this is a Cassabee. It's from Ikea. I think it was 20 bucks or just under. If you're someone that likes to show your washi tape off, if you like someone that likes to sort of go crazy, like how good would like strips of washi tape look across here? And this is just plastic, like it's not glass, so it's easy enough, well, I don't think it's glass. Is that glass? I think it's plastic, but I could be wrong on that. Um, but I actually bought a couple to have all around the house, so I'm really loving that for both storage and showing off. So the very, very last thing I'm going to show you, and unfortunately it got a little bit damaged um, at our Christmas party for Planner Day. So as you guys, some of you guys might know, might know I um, go to as many of the Western Planner Days as I possibly can, Western Melbourne Planner Days, sorry. Um, so Denise organises those. We have a ball and I so love all the girls that come along. We have such, much, such a good time. Um, but I got, we did a Kris Kringle. Mine was from the absolutely beautiful Pearl, who I'm sure is watching. Um, and this was the card on there. So it got a little bit damaged with some water on the day. But just her calligraphy and the beautiful drawing of that wreath is just amazing. And if that doesn't brighten up your Christmas, nothing will. So just wanted to send a little shout out and a little thank you for making something so beautiful, Pearl. I very, very much appreciate it. And then it's just a nice way to finish off my December favourites is with a gorgeous little thing that says Merry Christmas. So that is it for my December favourites. Like I said, this is a new kind of concept, so let me know what you think of it. Um, it's just a good way to be able to show you guys what I'm nece not necessarily using on camera, but that might be using off camera that you guys don't see so much. So that was sort of what I was thinking with this. Could be storage, it could be the way I'm using a planner, could be just a pen, whatever it might be. It might not necessarily come up in a haul video, so you might not see it. So that was what I was sort of thinking. Let me know if there's anything in here that you want any more information on and I can easily do that for you. Don't forget to come follow me on Instagram so that you get your daily reveals of the, of the advent calendars. And next week I'm going to have reviews and swatches of the new Kaiser inks as well as I really hope uh, my setup of my B6 planner to share with you. So it's going to be a big, 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 oh, and there's a bonus video next week. Uh, so it's going to be a really big week over here on my channel. I hope you guys have a great weekend in preparation for it. And I will see you again next week. No, I won't. I'll see you tomorrow on my lives, which I keep forgetting I'm doing. I'll see you tomorrow on Instagram. Sending you guys lots of huggles. Bye.